Hi, good morning, everyone. In this video, I'm going to share you how do you get the drop down option. You are working on a report, okay? Maybe uh, Rice FW tracker or uh, your team members, okay, who are belong to what kind of module. So you have multiple kind of uh, data you are working on that. Sometimes you see that the drop down option can be provided to select the suitable answer, not to input any answer, any value by the respective person. So you can make it like this. Okay, let's see the data now. Okay, let me increase the size of uh, sheet. So first of all, you have to prepare a uh, data source. Okay, uh, I just put this uh, data source here. Maybe you can come here. So this is the data where you are going to prepare okay. name and module. So this is your requirement. And uh, for example, sub so four five two, select this, click on all borders. Okay, name maybe you can give Ganesh, maybe Ramesh, Suresh, Sanjaya. Okay, so you have some four people. You want to give a module. So the person who is filling, he doesn't know that which module, how to select. Okay. So compared to some people may give material management, some people SAP MM. So you, you want to have a drop down option for this. How do you get that? First, you have to prepare a data source, for example, module. And these are the list of modules. So you just fill like this, then come to the, the main file. Okay. Here you want to have a data validation, right? put the cursor there, go to data. Here you will find a value called data validation. Okay. Click on data validation. System will ask you that yellow, any value or uh, what different options are there. You can select the option list. Okay. Once you give the list system will ask you that where is that data list. So come here and you click on this button. So system will ask you to select the range. Now go to data source, select this range. Okay. Now you select the range. Now click enter. Then click on. Okay. See system has selected that from a two to a eight. If you are adding any values, you need to ensure that all the values are covered here. Click on. Okay. See the drop down has come here. So they can select Ganesh SAP MM. Okay, the drop down, if you want to have for all, you can put this cursor here. You can just put the cursor here and you just drop down like this. Okay, so the, all the modules, all are getting the values. I just selected that um, all entries, I deleted. So the formula is getting copied. You can select that only formula or fill formula that are that options. You can do it. So now Ramesh SAP SD, Suresh SAP ABAP, Sanjya SAP FICO, okay, Srinu SAP WM. Like that you can select it. So the drop down option can be used. If you want to add any values, you can uh, include the values here. Okay, you can select and um, add one more you can add inset okay, maybe you can add sap theory after you add this one whether it is visible or not you can go to the data and uh, maybe you can add one more person albert so the theory also visible. If you add in between any values, system will show you all the uh, values. Okay. So this is the way how you can handle the drop down in your project. So they, this is just an example. You can do similar things for different here module is there, and um, you can add one more. Okay, the experience. Okay, experience also you can put it or experience or uh, other module any data. Okay, so the option is in that way you can practice on your system, how to get this drop down and how the data is getting copied. I hope this video is helpful for you for your regular work. 
and uh, managing your uh, data okay maybe a tracking of reserve or tracking of your support tickets okay the status anything you can utilize that if you like the video hit the like button and share with your sap consultants and any other friends also because this is an excellent tip so anybody can get benefit thanks for your time